watching my video my name is Lisa Natash I am new to YouTube and I figured why not why not come on and show you guys what I know so anywho stay tuned for how I came up with this beautiful look I love it thank you so much again and stay tuned stay all the way to the end okay and if you have any comments just just put them down there any questions put them down there and um, just try to be nice please um, so I already primed my face. What I did was I used a moisturizer first and I used Clarence. And this is what I did. I used today, um, the Clarence Beauty Flash Balm. I do use this or I'll use my Clarence Day Cream. I also, um, prime with, a uh, Photo Finish by Smashbox. And this is what I just put a little bit on my face. I did that already. I primed my eyelids and what I used was the, um, the Smashbox Lid Primer Light. And this is what it looks like. If I turn this thing wrong, I'm gonna turn it again the other way. And I prime my eyelid and I go a little below my eyelid so you notice it's a little pale. So I make sure I prime, prime that because I'm gonna put some products beneath, below my eye. And what I'm gonna be using is the Morphe palette, and this is just a little tiny Morphe palette. My, um, for my transition color, it's gonna be this color here. I'm just gonna use this part of it and just get that product over my lid. I hope I'm not too far away. So that same product's gonna tap it in, put a little bit on the brush, tap it off, and just blend it over my eye. All over there. And then the other eyelid. Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit over this one here. All right, so I took that color and it's good. And now I'm gonna go into um, another palette I have here. And I got this off um, Amazon as well. It's beautiful. The colors are vibrant in there. There's some beautiful colors. And this is what it looks like. The color I'm going to be using is a darker tone. And it's going to be this one here up in the upper right corner. That one. So, I've got a little on my brush. Just tap it off. And we're going to go from the outer corner. I'll come a little closer. So from here, it's going to do like a little circle of motion. And I hold my brush at the tip. A little more flexible ability when you do that give you lighter strokes so you're not like pacing the product on and you know makeup you just bill as you go it's too light you just add some more if the color is too light you just go, choose another color so i'm getting it on the outer corner here and eventually you know i want it up here as well so might as well start get a little more of that color and we're going to go back in here we're trying to see if we can darken here up a little bit So I wanted to do this for a while and I just been procrastinating and I was like, you know what? Mega do it. Mega take my brush them and mega do it. So here it is. I'm doing it. I hope I'm not babbling too much. So got got this brown brown in there, a little darker tone to it. You see that? I see it. And then I'm gonna put a little more, because as I said, I want it to be a little darker. So I'm gonna go for a darker color, and it's the same palette, and this time I'm gonna go for this one here. Right there. So, same brush, knock it off, and I'm gonna go back in here, in the crease here, the corner, the outer third of my eye, and just like blend that color up along my brow, my brow bone. And with this, I am actually going to go with a smaller brush. I'm gonna keep that close, the first brush closer to me. And with a smaller brush, if I can find it, I am going to go beneath my, my lower lid. So same color, the first color that I dip into, this one here. And I'm going to take a little bit, dab it off, and I'm going to go under here. Another the tap, tapping motion. I'm going to make sure I connect it 
up towards this area here. I want it to look seamless. And I'm gonna go all the way. And do the other one. Make sure you tap it off, guys, because you don't want to get product in your eye. Okay. Like so. And now you're going to go back with the second color that from this palette that we use. And um, it's going to be this one. Oops. Can you see? This one there. And we're going to go underneath the eye, the lower lid. Same place you just put the product, you're going to do the same thing. Bring it up a little higher. Okay, so. so. Okay, and I'm going to put that palette away. And the same brush, the first brush that I have, the little fluffy brush, I'm going to go back and do a little blending here. I'm going to use the same big brush and just kind of carry it under my eye, just gently. I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush. It's this one like so. I'm just going to go on the outer corner and just going to blend any harsh area. I'm going to my eye here and just blend that out. What a smooth finish. All right, guys, um, now I am going to go in with a darker color and this palette I have, it's actually from Smashbox and it's called Ultimate Eyes Brown. So we're going for brown, oops, Ultimate Eyes Brown. And it's a Smashbox product and I'm going to go for this brown right here. And I'm going to go in with that same first brush that I use. Sorry, the second brush that I use is a fluffy brush. Get a little of that product up and we're going to go back into the corner here again. And go up to the brow bone, a third of the eye. And put a little bit and I'm still as I said, we're going to going as we we're just failing it, you know, whatever we decide that we want to use, that's what we're going with. So it's not a plan look. I haven't done this look before. It's just what I feel like I need. I'm just going to apply. And right now, I think I need it to be. No, actually, I thought I needed to be a little darker, but. This will be perfect with the next color that I have to put on will be will be it. Okay, and I'm gonna go in with the fluffy fluffy brush again, the same one, and I'm just gonna blend this corner out. I'm gonna go in with the same Smashbox, the one that I show you, this one here. I'm gonna take the, it's a purple color and it's gonna kind of give me a little, I don't know, darken it a little bit and give me a little color to my eyes as well. So it's this color here and it's a, it's a, it's a dark purple. So I'm gonna use a different um, brush. I'm gonna go in with this Makeup Geek brush and it is a crease brush. And this is what it looks like. Okay, that's the brush. It's a little tapered, a little pointy, I should say. 
and it's a crease brush I'm gonna dab a little bit into the product it's ooh, to make it so a little pigmented that one knock it off and we're gonna go right in the corner outer corner of the eye so we're gonna go right here I'm just gonna dab it on a little circular motion and we're gonna lift that brush take it into the crease Just up to the mid middle part of your eye lid see that darkens a little bit take a little more knock it off and you go right back in to outer third Just a small brush. I'm going to use the same product. I'm going to go below my eye, lid under the bottom here, knock it off, and just get a little product under here as well. Just this little tapping motion, rather right the outer corner there. Same thing. I like to carry it all the way up here because I'm going to blend this area. I want this to look seamless. Okay, there you go. And go back in with that fluffy brush. I'm going to go right under my eye and just blend it out and bring it up here. Just gentle motion, guys. And now the blending brush, the fluffy brush. I'm just gonna blend the edge again, go under my eyes too. Now, I do have this nice, it has a glittery look and it's called expensive. There we go, I have a little purplish just now, brownish purplish. Now I'm going with pink makeup. You just do what you like and it will come out good, I promise. And now this is expensive pink eyeshadow and this is by MAC. And this is what it looks like. And the color is absolutely pretty. And we're just going to lose a little bit of that. So we're going to go in with a flat brush. Water on my cheeks, I'm just going to brush it off. My hair is a mess too, but you know, I need a new hairdo, a redo, a new weave, which I do myself. But by the time I'm done, trust me, I'm going to curl my hair. It will look actually great, actually great. So now I'm going to go in with that expensive pink. Knock it off. See, when I knock it off, I took all of it off. And I'm going to put it in the uh, middle. Um, lid, the middle, middle of my lid, my upper lid, just with tapping motion like so. You can turn the brush sideways too to get that product where you want it. And I'm going to go right here in the corner. Alrighty, now I'm going to go in with a clean brush and this one is a blending brush and it's an e.l.f. blending brush. So I'm just going to go in above 
what I just did. I'm going to blend it a little bit first, actually, and then go in the crease. So just like so. I'm going to get that there. Get that all blended out. We don't want it to look all clumpy or anything like that. And then I'm going to go up here to the crease and get that out there. All nicely blended. Get it out there. Where am I getting it? Where it's going? <laughs> Blend in it. You can lift, raise your eyebrows to get it like a nice smooth finish. Into those crease. If you have creasy eyes like me, oh my goodness. So, and then the first brush with the dark product on it, the darker makeup. I'm gonna go back over the brow bone, right in the crease here of the brow bone. I like to lift my brows to kind of make it my skin stretch a little bit, you know, so I can blend it better. So, um, the first brown, let me see. I think I have a little bit more gold on this that I want, so I'm gonna go back in with. Um, the brown from the Smashbox and put a little bit on the the brush and just apply it right on the crease right here. Just kind of get that color, tone that color down. Do the other one, why not? And then I'm going to go in with the the darker purple again this one here and go back right over here I'm just whoop. see what I did I forgot to knock it off oh my gosh I'm just trying to clean up my mistakes I did not knock that off that's not good Lisa but it looks fine now Get a fluffy brush and go back in there. Get that toned down. Tone that down. Tone that bad boy down. Okay. And some excess powder. It's gonna brush that off. I feel like I'm getting hot in this room brush it's just a clean one and we're going to go back over here blend out this area so I'm going to take a little bit of that I'm going to go right below the brow I like to go all the way over here do the other one and it's just it's just a little product it's not bright at all just something to give this look a little more pow there you go a little more why not because we can okay and I like to blend this area out a little more with a, a fluffy brush, just where I just apply the product. So this glitter I have is NYX and it's Glitter Brilliance. And this is what it looks like. And I got this from Target. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glitter, a little glitter in the cap. So a little goes a long way guys. and. Trust me, I'm probably gonna have glitter on my face afterwards, but it's glitter, it's nice. I got it, and now with the glitter, I'm going to take a um, 
flat brush and this one has been used it's Shawnee Cosmetics uh, okay you see that Shawnee Cosmetics and it's just a, a flat brush and you can see seen this fair share I'm gonna spray it with the all-nighter urban decay you can just wet it if you have water or um this is what I'm just going to wet it with my setting spray and to get some of that product up. And I'm going to put it in the inner um, center, in the center of my eyelid and towards the crease as well, the inner crease. And let's dab in motion to make sure I don't get it on my lashes. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go put my liner on and my lashes and I will be right back. Okay, I am back. So what I did was put my lashes on. I put my liner on. My liner I use is just the, um, it's L'Oreal, it's the gel liner and it's in black is black and it's number 171. Then I also um, tight line my eyes, my upper eyelid area, just to make sure it looks seamless, seam, seamlessly when I apply my lashes. Uh, next thing I did was I put a white liner under my lower line right here, put a white liner. So now it is on to the face. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. I have two concealers I'm going to be using. One is the e.l.f. HD lifting concealer and I love this like and this shade is light 83252 and it's just light so I'm gonna put a little bit under my eyes right here you know the area that you contour right the conceal you highlight the conceal you're highlighting I'm gonna put right on my brow my cheekbone, I should say. I don't want it to go too much under my eye because I don't want it to cause me to have any like cakiness there because sometimes that will happen. And I'm going to blend that out with my beauty blender and I have a cup of water here. I just, I saturate my beauty blender and squeeze it out. You can just normally just damp it, but I just push it in there and squeeze it out. That sounds weird. <laughs> now I'm just going to blend it out. I'm going to stay right here on my cheek bone and take it all the way up. I'm going to go back in a little bit and get that little bit here. Okay. I'm just blend it out. Go in the corner here. be going in with the Clarins and this is just instant light um, and it's by can you see it Clarins I don't know if you can see it and it's maybe you can't see it it's kind of hard to see with the color because it's all gold it's instant light and there's no number. It's just Clarence um, Instant Light Brush on Perfector. And I'm going to take a little bit of this. If I can open it. So wind it up. There it goes. There's a product. And I'm going to take a little bit right here. Some little dab. A little dab right here. And I'm going to do the same thing on the ear as I just did. And I'm going to go back and just blend that out with my Beauty Blender. And this one comes out really good. It, to me, it just gives it a little more lift, a little more highlight. It lightens up a little. See that for me? I don't know if you see it, but it's gonna lighten it up a little more. And 
I don't want my face too light. See that? You see that? Can you see that? <laughs> Makeup. Love it. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my my foundation. And I have two foundations that I use. I mix them sometimes, and I'm going to mix them today. And it's the Clarins. Clarins. It is a skin illusion. And my number is 113. It's chestnut. And the other one is Clarins. And this is extra firm and foundation. And this is also in chestnut number 113. So I'm going to put a little bit of product, both of them, um, on my face, little areas, my cheeks. Since I just highlight that area, I don't want to take all that away. Put some here. Just a little bit of this. Like so. See that? And then the dropper now. This one has a dropper. I put more of this on where I want it. Little higher up to my cheeks, like so. And then I have my Kabuki brush, and this is just um, Lamora, and I got this from Amazon. And I swear by it, guys. To me, it just gives this airbrush finish. So I just wet my hand, or from my bathroom getting ready, I'll just do from the sink. But I have a cup of water here. Just put a little water on it. Just wet my hand and um da put it damp it get it damp and then i just apply just blend my foundation in and honestly what i do sometimes i'll put my foundation on and then put my concealer on and then sometimes i put my concealer on first and then put my foundation on so you can mix it up you just do whatever you feel comfortable with Just ignore that area. Normally I take it down my neck here. And then I'm gonna half it. <laughs> okay, now look at that look. Look at the finish. See what I'm talking about? Lips feel so dry. Okay. All right, so now we're using the Clinique, and this is 04 Stay Honey Medium. So this is it. And I'm just going to apply this with um, my powder brush. So I'm just going to dab it on there and just pat areas. I'm not going to bake. Not today. I feel like I'm baking already with this darn light. I'm just going to put a little bit on my eyes to set that concealer probably should have put that on before but that's what it is it's okay I'm gonna be using my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's contour kit tan to deep excuse the way it look and my favorite color is all bottomed, but we're going to get some out of there. And I'm going to be using this color and this shade up here. So I'm going to go in with this one first. No, sorry. I'm going to go in with the darker one first. I'm going to use this one for my cheeks. Okay. And I do have my contour brush. And I think that one is dirty, so let's use this one. Just an angle brush like so. I'm going with a darker color. Tap it off and I'm going to go on my cheekbone. And here comes the face. Go up to the hairline. The fish look. There's a smile. Get a little more. 
see that? Don't want too much. Okay, let's do the other side. Like so. I'm gonna go under here. And here. And here. Go up here, blah, blah, blah. same breath without any product on. It has product, but I'm not dipping it in anything. Let's go in here because I do want the lighter color. So I'm going to go in with another brush and the lighter color. I'm going to go up here in the same contour palette, just the one that bought them. Okay, and with the lighter color, I'm just going to go over this a little bit to kind of blend it out. And I'm going like above my cheekbone like so, just to get that little edge out of there, the harsh edge. And there you go. See that? And then if you see the difference, this is all blended out and you can see an, like a little edge. I call it an edge. I'm going to call it a, a definition, a defined area that I put the product. So we want it like this. So we're going to do the same thing. Going back with this color here, this Harley there, and we're just going to go over this a little circular stroke and just like on the upper part of the cheek and blend that out. And look at that now. Voila. Okay. And I'm going to go in with a little bronzer. So the bronzer I have is just the Physician Formula Bronzer. I've had this for a long time. I've been using it as bronze booster. It's light to medium, and this is what it looks like. And then the same brush that I use, a light color, I'm gonna go into the bronzer and just get some product on my cheeks. See that? Now I'm going to contour my nose. So the same product from the Anastasia Bellevue Hills kit, the bottom one that's bottom out. I'm going to go in with a little contour brush. It's a tiny one like so it's angled. It's an angle brush and I'm going to contour my nose. So just a little product, knock it off and I'm going to start from here. And just go down here. And I like to go down my nose bridge here, go down to the tip. You don't want to use a dark color. Just try and go for one that just blend well with your complexion. The other ones I have, they're just too dark. You see this, you can see barely there, but it's there. Get some more and you just do it according to your liking. It is the Too Faced and it's gonna, be, it's gonna be the Love Spark. I am gonna use it as a highlighter shimmer. Give myself some glow, okay? And it's gonna be this one. Now, for me to get the product, of course, I have to use a smaller brush. So I'm going to go in with one of these fluffy brushes to pick it up. Knock it off and just wet the tip. Just apply it like so. See that? See that? Why keep saying that? Okay. 
Okay, now time for my, and what did I do with it? The mascara, my bottom lash, just a little. So let's do my lips. I'm gonna wipe my lips off a little bit. And I'm going to line my lips. And this is the infallible six hour nude um, lip liner. And this is what it looks like. Hope you're seeing it. Okay. So I'm just gonna use this one and it's 660 and it's Touch of Spice and it's matte and it's Maybelline. This is what, and it's and it looks like this. And it's Maybelline and I, I got it in the, oh, what am I doing? In Target. Girls, guys, Target is like five minutes away from me so that's where I go. Yes, this is more like it. Yeah. I like that better. Now, oh child, that is it. A little fix plus, not fix plus, it's all nighter urban decay <laughs> setting spray. And I'm just gonna spray this on a little. You know what, before I spray it, I'm actually going to do a little bit of powder. And honestly, normally I do not do these, use so much powder when I'm going out. It's just because of my lights. If you guys know a little, a much cooler light that I could use when I'm filming, please comment below because my sister will take any little help she got. Before I do that, I do want to put a little um, pink on my cheeks with my blush. So it's gonna get a, uh, this one is um, Blushing Berry and it's Physician Formula. Formula, And I got this, I had this for a long time. I was gonna put any little pink you have, you just put, you can get that. It's a little pink I want for here. It's barely, barely there like over my, see that? Over my, um, my contour. Just a little pink like so. And now, if it's too pink, <laughs> you just go over with your brush and fix that. Okay, there you go. And now I can spray with my Urban Decay um, All Nighter Ultra Matte, and this is supposed to last for 16 hours. So they say. I've used it. I haven't lasted for no darn 16 hours, but I still like it. And so if you find a different one that lasts and really keep you matte, you let me know as well. I appreciate it. Here I go. Whew. What is all of this flickle? Ah. What I should have done, I should have shaken <laughs> I should have shaken. I did not shake it. <laughs> oh, Lisa. Poor Lisa. Guys, it will dry. Don't panic. Do I have a book or something? To... Guys, don't do this. Let's make sure you shake it. <laughs> make sure you shake your... um your setting spray, okay? If not, you're gonna get like white flakes all over your face. Oh my God, this better dry pretty. I'm gonna be pissed. I need a fan too. Alrighty, it's drying, it will dry guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna go curl my hair and I will be right back. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you guys watch it to the end. This is the after look. And if you're interested, subscribe. 
so you can know whenever I put um, I post more videos okay so thanks again and it was nice hanging out bye